Uh, so we're in the Europa League again, but more importantly, today's video, we are going to be building up to and discussing everything you should consider before a cup final. Uh, so if you tuned into the last video, it was a long one, um, but it was a feature length Twitch stream highlights uh, clip. And uh, yeah, you'd have seen us overcome uh, remarkably a uh, two leg win over Liverpool in the semi-final, which was incredible. <laughs> and I've only just come down from that. Um, but yeah, we've now got Aston Villa in a neutral venue, obviously, uh, in the Europa League final in our third season with Valencia. Uh, and Villa, I think, are a, uh, a team that play 4-4-2. Yeah, they've got Leon Bailey on the left, Buendia on the right. Two uh, very, very technically and physically astute midfielders behind Arujo and Vitinha, who I don't know. Um, Enrique Arujo looks scary, uh, for a 23-year-old at least. And he looks even scarier. He looks like a vicious bugger. <laughs> uh, 17, number 17, uh, Vitinha, the Portuguese front two... Um, not to be uh, not to be trifled with, and obviously we've got to get past World Cup winning goalkeeper Emmy Martinez as well, um, who doesn't look like he's got much worse in the three years since the start of the season, uh, the save, uh, which is a shame. But if I'm really honest, I fancy my chances against that back four more so than I do against the Liverpool back four, which we did score three goals past in the second leg. So. I think I gave us a 5% chance of qualifying against Liverpool. Um, I'm going to give us a... I reckon we've got a 50% chance of lifting this trophy. I, I honestly do. Uh, so in today, today's stream, today's video, uh, we're going to, to recap on what happened and the thought process that went behind that, uh, that win against Liverpool. We're going to showcase what's happened since. Uh, so there's been a few games um, and a few things have changed. Um, We'll talk about our form, we'll talk about uh, player happiness as well and how we think that's going to play an effect uh, on this and we should have the uh, the typical squad briefing before a cup final um, to talk through and I'll, I'll share my thought process there. Um, and then we'll look into training and obviously tactics and it's the match itself. Um, so yeah, I'm going to praise Nino here because I really want to bring his confidence to the max. Uh, it already was, um, but that's good. He's scored three now in his last two games. Going into the Liverpool game, he had no goals and we had no confidence in him. What we noticed in a um, when we visited the Dynamics uh, hub was that there were a few players, well, one player unhappy, that's Mariano. He's concerned about his the club just in general, but he's kind of in the last year of his contract and he wants to consider his options. Absolutely fine with that. He can bugger off in the summer if he wants. Um, but we noticed that... Um, where is my... Uh, Fernino was actually very interested um, a couple of days ago in getting a new contract with the club so he had a, um, a concerned face in this little box uh, and that made me think what if we offered him a new contract with lots and lots of goal and assist incentives right now before a cup final so that he would get a little bit more um, yeah hungry in front of goal basically including a five goal a season um, bonus of something like 100k so it's a waste of money but it's a short-term um, incentive that can really give us a bit of a kick on um, with uh, with our centre forwards so I'm hoping we'll see that come through in the next few days um, and we'll have uh, we'll have a boost yeah so what's happened in the league since those games uh, so we took on Valladolid, they had a player sent off um, and we won 2-1. Um, it was a scrape, <laughs> if I'm honest, uh, but we did rest a lot of our players. So you can see Harwood Palace played, Fulquier played, Manny Sanchez, um, Guilamon came in for Bandon Booman, Castilejo, Mariano, uh, Malero played, but he had a really bad game. But that, that entire match was just about uh, getting getting the players who had played 120 minutes against Liverpool um, rested uh, and hence no dear Carby there um, and yeah making sure that we just got over the line and didn't lose momentum so we, uh, we achieved that um, only just and uh, we have just beaten Mallorca in our last game at the Mistea so 
God rest its soul. Uh, great stadium, very scary stadium. It's uh, incredibly steep um, and just a health and safety nightmare. Um, but as of, uh, yeah, let me just put stadium in here. As of, uh, I think it was about the 15th of May, 2025 on the game, uh, Valencia now moving into a 60,000 seater. What else has happened in the league? <laughs> so uh, in that last game, we drew um, we drew at home with Barcelona, whose manager we despise, Maurizio Sarri's given us uh, given us all that, um, and we uh, we decided to kick lumps out of them. We got the nil nil, um, although we had one eye on the Liverpool game, as you can imagine. Um, and yeah, how that's then unravelled is uh, Real Madrid lost uh, shockingly to um, Atletico Pamplona, and they're actually playing Barcelona. <laughs> in the first division so it's all to play for at the top of the table and um, because of that Real Madrid loss they are now um, a point behind but with a game in hand but they, they play each other in a few days so we are going to be paying close attention to that just because we don't want Barcelona to win purely because of Sarri um, and we don't want any success coming his way um, but yeah it looks like um, we're scheduled for either a fifth or sixth place finish um, fifth hopefully because Sevilla play Real Madrid as well as we just saw um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be able to get there. Right, we're going to now progress into uh, the days before um, the Europa League final. So you'd have just seen flash up on screen our training regime before a cup final. So um, let's have a look at it in more detail. So what uh, what we've obviously done is rest and recover after the Mallorca match. And we've only got two days before we play the final uh, at the neutral venue on Wednesday. Um, and what we're doing <clears throat> is actually focusing on attack. Uh, so attacking movement and attacking and then penalties. Um, because in a one-off game and particularly in a one-off game against a opponent you've never played before, um, I don't think it's worth dwelling on how you contain their players. Um, because ultimately it's going to be who can create the most chances and who can convert the most chances. Um, but we're going to go with match tactic, attacking movement, attacking uh, in general and then penalties because you just know it can go to penalties and I'd love to beat Emi Martinez on penalties but I just, <laughs> we wouldn't do that without practice. So I've mentioned we're going to go attacking, we're not going to give them too much respect, we're not going to go... Um, we're not going to go cautious or counter-attacking. Um, I do expect them to be a force to be reckoned with going forwards. It's going to be hard to say no to starting Manny Vallejo after his heroics in the semi-finals. Um, I should say, if you didn't manage to catch that video, uh, this is how it unfolded. Um, so in this, the first leg, we managed to scrape. We scraped a 1-0 loss at Anfield. Uh, we were fairly battered, but um, we managed to just stifle their attack. In the second leg, uh, we got a Vallejo goal to start things off. He was playing as our striker at that time. Then Pfeiffer came on and got booked and then scored an own goal within five minutes, which is just unbelievably bad. And we are going to look to sell him, I think, in the summer. Not for that match in particular, but um, he's just generally not good enough. And then uh, hero Hugo Duro uh, came in with a, um, a last uh, 10 minute um, equaliser uh, on aggregate, so taking it to two all. And then Vallejo uh, scored an extra time, and I'm still smiling as I think about that match because it was just juicy. And Lafont kept us in it um, throughout the tie. Uh, so our goalkeeper Alvin Lafont is world class. Um, I'm not going to pay any attention to recruitment at this moment. I just do not need to be sidelined with anything else to think about. Uh, we do have a couple of returning players, so. Cast your minds back again to that last video and we were without Jose Gaia who is our best player by miles. He's our captain, he's our left back um, and he is our set piece taker and assist um, maker extraordinaire. Uh, losing him um, in the build up to those last two fixtures, it's any wonder how, uh, how, how the miracle of that qualification came through. Um, because we were uh, we were lacking in the in the leadership department, especially with uh, Gomez, who is our vice captain and our best centre back. Uh, he was also out injured long term, and we had no informed striker. Thankfully, Vallejo stepped up, but um, yeah, at the time we had nobody that was banging them in. Here we go. Talk to team about cup final. So 
Uh, sometimes I will forego these conversations. If you get to a stage in your save where you are getting to cup finals every year, and if you're, yeah, if you reach that kind of level of domination in your league, I don't like to use this every time, uh, but I am going to use this now because it's my first, uh, my first chance. This is a bad one. <laughs> I've never used this one to good effect. Uh, easing expectations can be good if you've got nervous players or uh, if, if players think um, that they are by far the weaker team. And if we were up against like uh, Juventus or United or something like that um, in uh, in the cup final, then I'd be using probably an ease expectations. Um, but I'm actually going to say with you don't get to play in a cup final every day. <laughs> Most of those are pleased. Some of them are very happy. Um, yeah, Vasquez is a weird player. He or he just hates me. <laughs> I think I just need to get rid of him because he doesn't like me. And Mariano's uh, rubbish anyway. Um, so I'm going to accept. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do that. So let's have a look at that response. Doesn't look like uh, it, it had all that much of an effect, to be honest. But we survived that. First things first, uh, I'll peek at the opposition instruction, but it looks like there's quite a lot of them. Um, hold back when ta tackling, go in strong, go in strong. Um, show De Monte's weaker foot. I agree with the Camaro one, I'm gonna copy that. Um, but everything else is just like tackle, tackle, tackle. Um, and I don't think they're gonna be right on the edge of our box here because of their formation. They've only got those two kind of out and out forwards. So, Fanino, well done, you're starting. Um, Malero, you've been great all season, but you are being usurped by the hero of the hour, Manny Vallejo. Um, Tejon, get on the bench, son, you've been brilliant. Um, and we'll be more in our team next year, I promise. Um, Manny Sanchez out, Jesus Vasquez in. Uh, Burakin, sir, I actually think Endor is better here. I'm going to put him on support, though, because he was good in that role last time. Um, oh, we got Barboza back and fit. He can play 45 minutes and he's perfect morale. That's good. Uh, Mariano, actually, you go off the bench. You're not going to be possibly playing now. He's been crap. Um, I think that's personnel. I'm not going to change too much of my uh, my default tactic here. I could put Valle uh, Gaia on to attack because he does like to be an attacking wing back. But when there's wingers um, in a 4-4-2, I don't know how... Uh, important they're going to be. Tell you what, I think uh, I will try and stop crosses. So that's the only thing that I'm going to change of my default tactic. Um, otherwise, I'm quite happy with that. And let's get on to these players. So let's definitely mark these guys always. Let's press Bailey, press Buendia, mark Buendia because he's a, a nightmare. Um, and let's do the weaker foot for Kamara. I don't actually know what, is, what foot is, is he's right footed. So. I'm actually just going to say left foot there so that my player doesn't need to make the decision. Positive. Okay, this is it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. That's good. If you can pick up where you left off last match, then you will get your hands on that trophy. These fans have been fantastic for us. They're the ones who really pay your wages. <laughs> I think it's that one. Uh, and then defenders. I think you're going to be good. And Duro, pick up where you left off last match. Vallejo. Please be as good as you were in the uh, semi-finals. Okay, kick off, here we go. So immediately this pitch looks really bloody wide. <laughs> I don't like that. Might have to up the width and up the passing. I should have looked into the pitch, but we'll see how we start. It looks like a 4-4-2 is going to stretch us because uh, this pitch is wide. And we are saying pass shorter. Oh my god, Fanino! He was offside anyway. But we created something. We were positive. We went forwards. Go on, Endor. Go on, Vallejo. Oh. Duro. Oh. Boys. You're not playing rugby. Try and keep it under the bar. Okay, 25 in. Almost. Oh boy. Get rid. That'll do. Safe hands. Give it our first encourage. Tempted to up the passing distance because we are, although we're controlling possession, we've got 58%. I'm quite happy with that. We are on Duro. Oh, it's a good save by the World Cup winning. We are on Esposito. 
Oh, what are you doing, boys? Someone shoot! Oh, not Buendia. Oh, that's the best chance of the game. That was nice, nice catch from Lafont there. Well to hold it. <sighs> Lafont. Honestly, I've just got to show you Lafont. He really is excellent. <laughs> he's uh, he's catching everything. I love him for it. But um, okay, this isn't quite going to plan now. I think we need to be a bit more direct. And I'm going to say a bit more expressive because we've had the possession. So that's uh, we can afford to take a few percentage off that possession. Oh, Manny Vallejo injured. If only we had a 24 goal, uh, sorry, 24 assist player to bring on for him. Um, we'll try and get into half time with Vallejo on the pitch because he deserves that. Fernino, yes, get in. Four games in three now. We got him back into form. Oh, it's a bloody lovely ball from Duro. Oh, right. Come on then, half time. Let's get Malero on. Um, not going to say that. Uh, no. Probably this one. Um, okay, Malero can come on for Vallejo. Anything else we change? Probably not. Are we definitely pressing Buendia? Feels like we're not. Yes. And again. Yes. Oh, Fernino. Why have you put that on your left foot, you turd? When you've only got two at the back, you can really see that gap open up. Douglas Louise. Simple ball. Gomez is our best centre back. Lafont is probably better than that. That's gone straight through his stomach somehow. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, Rendell, you're having a bad game, mate. Oh, Rendell, what have you done? Such a crap pass. Oh, he's offside. No, that's what, you, that's what you love to see. But I'm not not particularly happy with Rendell Correa there, so um, I don't think we're working the ball into the box. We're definitely not doing that. I think we need to go wider because the uh, pitch is massively wide. Yeah, that's good. No, nope, that's bad. I'm honestly going to sub you off in a second, Rendell. You are one of our best players usually and you're having stinker. A couple of changes then. 67 on the clock. Let's bring on... Um, he's nervous, let's not bring on him. Landon Boomin, you get on, give us some good set pieces. And yeah, let's spot spot the bad player, even if it's not rating uh rating wise not the worst player, he has given the ball away a lot. Let's get full KA on. Oh my god. Right, they've definitely got momentum here. We are kind of holding on and we need to change something. Um Got one sub left to play. We've got some absolutely knackered players. <sighs> the smart thing, the smart thing would be to bring on probably Castellejo for Duro. Although Duro is playing the best, but he's knackered. The less smart thing to do, which is what I'm, I'm leaning towards, is overloading one side of the pitch. Uh, and that's what we're going to do instead. So, uh, yeah, we'll have Barboza down the middle. Nino is going to be out there. Iraq, you're going to be there. We're going to focus the play down the left, turn that one off. And out of possession, we're going to drop back a little bit. And in transition, we're going to counter. So, here's my thinking. He's not very good going forward. He's already on a yellow card. I'm going to actually tell him to just defend. Um, Gaia is knackered, but he is going to get forward. Um, Malero, Insa, Barbosa, Nino, just overcrowd that left-hand side where we're focusing the play. And let's see what we get. Kind of the last throw of the dice. 
for us. Although Bubbo's is a, a good attacking option for us to have on the pitch anyway. I'm not surprised we've got some nervous faces out there at the moment, that's all I'm saying. We're still remaining positive. I'm going to give them an encourage. Just need the one chance to get get forward, really. That's good. Fanino's there. That's good. Oh my god, that would have been bloody amazing. Oh, Gabby, if only you played any football in the last 20, 20 games. <laughs> right, overload that left. Fanino, good. Incher, good. Fanino, Gabby, stop shooting. Uh, might actually tell him to shoot less often. Shoot less often. Smaller passes. Um, drip more. See if we can get him to do an assist instead. This is going to extra time. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> okay, I think we saw some positives there in the two highlights right before the end of the match. Uh, you can see our XG leaped up a little bit. But they had so many chances. So many weak chances, but lots of chances there. Draw is probably a fair result at the moment. Satisfied that that was a disallowed goal. <clears throat> okay. Um, don't slip away. Don't let it slip away, rather. And you went bad, but you can do better. And that'll do, I think. Start as we finished that half, please. Give us the highlights. Oh, God, LaFont. LaFont has just been an absolute dream. Um, did we make a sub? Do we have a sub? I think it's time. Manny Sanchez can come on. Somebody who's not bricking it. Uh, they've got an injury. They're not taking them off, though. Malero. Good. Ooh, he's at the bar. That would have been insane. It was too quick for me to get excited about. Right, um, could stick one of them on no nonsense at this point. I think that's probably what we'll do. We're going to stop playing out of defence. Um, we're not going to distribute it there. We're going to distribute it over the top. And um, yeah, I'm going to make Gomez a no nonsense. Just get rid. <sighs> it's going to go to penalties. We're going to have penalties against Emmy Martinez. And his stupid antics. I'm calling it now. Esposito's missing it. Oh, go on, Fanino. Oh, that could have been a pen as well. Just needs to go down. Incher. Oh, inches wide from Incher. And that was the last attack. And we are going to penalties. So, I'll say it now. That didn't go to plan. <laughs> Uh, if you ask me one thing I did not want to happen, even though we did train penalties, uh, I would have chosen this. Let's have Malero, Anxious, we're not going to have him then. Um, Esposito, I called that he is going to probably miss. Alright then. God. Where is he? Where's Incha? Where's Pirak Incha? Oh, try to take the pressure off him. Here we go then. Come on, LaFont. You've been absolutely incredible. Bad start. Off to a bad start. And then Boomin. There he is, Emmy Martinez, and he's bloody dancing. Ah. I hate the man. Oh dear, this is going terribly. Yep, Mr. 20 at penalty scores, that's good. Come on, LaFont. Oh, what is this angle? Why can why can I see mine but not see theirs? Oh, that's a good penalty for Nino. Oh, I prefer that angle. Okay, we need to start. Uh... Oh, we could lose with this kick, and it's Malero. He's not our best at pens. Had a really good season, regardless. That's good. Right, we need to save this one. Who's stepping up for Villa? John McBloody Ginn. Right, he's going to go straight down the middle. 
straight down the middle. Yes! Left font! Get in! Good job he didn't listen to me. Oh god, I've got Gomez coming up. He's got such a cool head. Such a cool head. Yes! <laughs> Leveled it up. Brian Gill. Valencia legend. Oh, he scored. I don't really like our chances from this point. I think Esposito is going to be the miss. <laughs> he's young, he's absolutely knackered, and he's not particularly good at penalties. It would be a miracle if he scores past Martinez. He has! Well then, boy. Matty Cash. Oh, Lafont, you're so close to saving that. Oh, no, an incher. Oh, no. The one that was nervous that I couldn't calm down. Oh, he scored! Oh, my God, this is terrifying. <laughs> Come on, sir. It's saved! Lafont saved it! We've just got a score! We've just got a score, and it's Manny Sanchez! You can write his name into the history books, but get rid of everyone else. Vasquez can go in the summer. Oh, yes! Get in! Champions! <laughs> oh, that was so jammy. That was one thing that won us that tournament and it was nothing to do with my tactics. It was Alban Lafont who had the best game I've ever seen a keeper have. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. And there's another keeper there as well for some reason. Um, no, what a, what a win that is. Completely potluck. I mean, penalties. Penalties is potluck. <laughs> Let's be honest. And against Emmy Martinez. I want to swear into the camera, but I won't. <clears throat> oh my god, we've done it. Europa League completed it, mate. Um, I don't see a will you marry me statement here, which is unfortunate. Um, so I'm just going to say you're excellent, well done. Valencia lift the Europa League trophy. Well, everything that I said before the match, some of it may have worked. Maybe we contained them in some degree, but... Uh, we got the goal, I suppose. But ultimately, uh, that was luck. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Villarreal, eat your heart out. <laughs> Qualify for the Champions League. I did definitely make mistakes in that match. Most notably, forgot to put someone back out on the right when we were trying to stretch the play and they were down to 10 men. So that last 20 minutes could have been a lot easier if I spotted that first and foremost. Um, but ultimately, we survived it. We didn't concede a second despite their pressure. And, uh, and our goalkeeper saved the day. Um, that's all we've got time for. Um, until next time, in the Valencia save or otherwise. Catch you soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.